Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is update number 112 of the TFSA trade portfolio and well simple. Always a mouthful to say that, but before we jump into the portfolio, I just want to thank everybody that's been joining on the live streams. Really appreciate everybody taking their time out of their morning to join in, have a good conversation about investing our TFSAs. I do really appreciate it. They're a lot of fun to do. I'm gonna keep going on doing that. And if you haven't watched the live stream yet, we do go live Monday to Friday, eight o'clock AM Pacific time to about 8.45. Great way to start the day. Hopefully we can see you maybe in an upcoming stream. That being said, let's just get right into the portfolio. All right, here we are in the TFSA. As you can see, had a decent week, but we will get into that. Let's just scroll down. We'll see, let's how we have. Now you can see I have a little bit uh, available to trade. I did do a deposit. I caught up on my weekly dollar cost averaging. I had missed the week before, uh, just having a bit of a delay getting the deposits into Well Simple, but all is there. And I actually was able to put a little bit extra in, which we'll get into as well. Let's just go through. We'll show total value of the portfolio right now because you know we're starting to see a bit of green, which is good. Uh, BAM, that is part of that StreamYard challenge, and we are up 12.31%, $8.47 on our just over one and a half shares, fractional share purchase every month going in there, about $33 every first of the month. Uh, BEP.UN down 14.79%. That being said, I did add two shares of BEP.UN, bringing it up to 20 shares. So we're down though still $130.09, but it was nice to add those two more as the cost is down. This is one I want to focus on a little bit this year when I'm able to, to add to those positions, especially while the price is down. Uh, BN, that one is just sitting there because that of course was the split off into BAM. That one I'm just gonna kind of leave, not too much, one and a half shares, uh, but we're up 2.65%, uh, $1.92. So that's good, it's good that something is in the green as always. Uh, BTCY up to now 197 shares. I added a little bit to this position as well with my last deposit earlier this week, down 10.72%. $83.24. Regular monthly dividends coming in with the BTC, that's the Bitcoin yield ETF. So pretty happy about that. And you know, Bitcoin's been doing pretty good lately. I uh, hit $25,000, which was the first time since I believe last August. So it's nice to see that coming back up coming back more, almost getting there to be almost in the green with BTCY. Uh, CMC, this one sticking on to lesson learned. I'm actually kind of debating whether to just to dump this, but it, I mean, again, it is only $11 and 20, worth $11 and 25 cents now. So it's kind of like, might as well just ride this out and see what happens. That's how my feelings on that one. Uh, Div, Diversified Royalty Corp. This one is doing great. And this is thanks to the channel uh, viewers and coffee crew from the live stream. You know, we did an update video for the 100th update video uh, purchasing 100 shares and it was of Diversified Royalty Corp and we're up 12.37%, which is awesome, $37. I will be doing a next uh, 100 share uh, update. Basically, the plan is to buy 100 shares of something uh, for my 100th live stream. I don't know if that's going to be uh, div or not, but I'll, I'll, we'll do kind of do a poll on the on the channel and on the live stream. We'll try and figure that out. Let the, the community choose that. It's always kind of fun to do that. Up 12.37% though, $37. Pretty happy about that one. Uh, ETC up to 114 shares. I added a couple of shares to this position uh, for, uh, but uh, we're still down 51.01%. This is the Bitcoin and Ethereum ETF. Now this one does not pay a yield, so I haven't really been adding to it, but the price has been coming up and we're seeing a bit more, uh, well, a bit less in the red, uh, but down unfortunately $709.97. Uh, Green Lane Renewables, 100, uh, you know, we have a good position in this one, but down 55.45%. I am. This is a long-term hold for me. I'm optimistic with green lane we'll see how they're doing but down again unfortunately 710 dollars and just over seven cents or sorry just over 70 cents uh psa uh just under one share of this i took some of that psa out and bought some of the yield google shares and so we're down a little bit with the position on this but again it's up you know 0.14 percent this one will fluctuate but it gives those regular monthly dividends much like a high interest savings account think of it that way uh, so go with that one. And RNW, I did add a few shares to this one. To, uh, I still want to add to RNW. Uh, you know, they haven't uh, reduced their dividend yet. A few people have asked about RNW. Uh, I've added the position to bring my dollar cost average down. I'm hoping they just don't change their uh, dividends. That will be not good for this one, but down 28.72%, $291.51 on TransAlta Renewables. Uh, SOT.UN, that's the Slate Office REIT. This is another one I added to that position, so we're up to 140 shares. I actually almost have enough to, from the dividends coming through to be able to purchase a full share every month, which is nice. I kind of want to get up to that point at least, so I can keep rolling that in and just let it 
a little bit kind of grow that way, uh, but down, unfortunately, 9.65%, $66.52 on Slate Office Read. Uh, Telus, we're down as well, just a little bit though, just under 1%, uh, down $4.80, 80, almost 86 cents on 24, just over 24 shares, fractional shares of Telus. Uh, Tesla, Tesla is doing great. This is the CDR, 29 shares of Tesla. Uh, we are up 26.7%, $120.08. That's nice, nice to see some green, that's for sure. Uh, VDY up as well. This is the one I do the regular weekly purchase, uh, one share of VDY, but I caught up this week buying two. Uh, up 6.37%, $207.33 on VDY. Uh, VFV, I purchased with my last deposit earlier this week, uh, two more shares of VDY, that's the Vanguard S&P 500 index ETF, uh, and we are up a little bit in the green, 0.2%, which is nice, nice to see that finally coming back up a little bit, uh, $7.30 in the green. Uh, yield Google, this is the purpose Yield Google ETF, and this one will pay a monthly dividend. Uh, down a little bit on that one though, I sold off the last of my Rio Can shares, also some of the uh, PSA to purchase this, 13 shares of YGOOG, I guess we would call it, uh, but down to 2.06%, $5.68. And the star of the portfolio is the Tesla Yield. If you've been following along, I sold Rio Can, uh, took a bit of profits off of Rio Can. I'm completely out of Rio Can position now, but uh, to yield the Tesla monthly dividends coming in quite good actually almost ten dollars last month hopefully that will continue uh, but we're up 54.01 percent so I'm hanging on to this one that's for sure uh, up 272 dollars and 86 cents let's scroll right to the top and you can see we had a decent week. Now, if I go back to the day, this is gonna be thrown off a little bit because I had that larger deposit. I did put $500 into the TFSA earlier, uh, a couple of days ago. So it has kind of to reset. Uh, that's what kind of well simple does. So showing, showing a loss for the past day, we definitely were down 3% on Friday. So let's go to the week up 2.13%, $292.61 on the month up 5.16% on the portfolio, $686.46. On the three months, 8.22%, uh, $1,063.82. And on the year, scooped over that, we're down. This is where the green, or sorry, the red is going to show up, uh, down for the year, 4.86%. So we're catching back up, which is nice to see, $715.96. And all time, we're down now under seven, under 8%, which is good. We're kind of getting these slow increases here, which is nice to see, uh, down $1,069.93 all time on the portfolio. We've been going on the portfolio since April. Uh, it'll be two years on April 1st. All right, now let me know down below. Did you buy anything this week? Did you sell anything this week? It's always interesting to hear what people have done. Leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know how Let me know how your portfolio is doing. I know we're starting to see the market kind of rise a little bit, which is nice. So maybe leave a comment and let me know if you are in the green for your all time in the portfolio. That would be awesome to hear. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll be back on Monday. Markets are closed on Monday in both the States and Canada. It's family day in Canada, but I will be having a live stream. So I will get that posted on the channel. Uh, hopefully if people are off work, maybe a few more people can, can join in and catch the live stream that will be posted so you can you can get um, set your reminders to get that uh, and join us on live on Monday so that's all everybody have a great long weekend it's nice to have three days off that's for sure hopefully it's nice where you are you can get out get some spend some time with the family and again I really appreciate everybody that's been taking the time to watch the channel like subscribe all that good YouTube stuff it is uh, fun to do these videos it's fun to do the live streams and it would be great to have you uh, join along if you haven't uh, already thanks for watching everybody have a great weekend Thank you.